right, there's the surprise everybody's been waiting a day for, or two days, because it was supposed to take a video yesterday, but I had issues with the title. So, here she is, the International Paystar 5000 with a Cummins in it. Don't ask me what Cummins is in it, because I ain't quite figured it out myself yet. But I'll have the ride along video posted either before or after this video. I haven't decided yet. So, but I thought I'd give you a video of it running real quick because I got to take the batteries out and give them back. The batteries were dead and the lady put some new ones in it so I could get it home. So, but it's got a monster tow hook on it. It's not in the greatest shape, but it'll do what I need it to do. It needs some tires, and I'm pretty sure these are the split rim deals, so... But I'm pretty sure I can get regular Dayton-style rims that will fit on there. Because I got 10 by 20 tires on them. I need something a little bit more common. So I'm going to have to look into that. But, and I'm pretty sure this is the original Miles on it. According to the title, that's the actual miles. And then there's the engine hours. It's got a wet line kit. I don't know if any of that works or not. It's not the greatest, but it'll do what I need it to do. And speaking of that, I'll make a video of what I'm gonna do with it. Oh, look, Nick's hiding over there. Hey, Nick, when you're watching this later, you're gonna be on the video and you don't know it. But yeah, so here's the surprise purchase. I'll make an in-depth video of it later when I, after I get the batteries back and eat. So stay tuned. All right, so this part of the video, I was going to show you what the semi that I bought is going to be used for, but it's getting dark out and you won't be able to see really well. So I figure I'd just make an explanation of it and you guys can enjoy the lightning. But uh, I bought the semi for pulling some box trailers full of straw. Um, our town, they have a fair, a city fair every year. And what they do is they have a go-kart race and they need straw to line the track. And the FFA chapter used to supply the straw and the labor to put to put it down for the race. Well, last year, or the year before last, the guy that was in charge of moving the trailers and everything, um, he retired from it. He got too old to do it. So this past year, the FFA chapter had to borrow some semis to do it. And their trailers, two of them, the roofs collapsed. And they couldn't afford to buy new trailers. So he told the city that they were done doing it. He said if they could find somebody to supply the straw and move the straw, they would supply the labor. Well, this past year, I got some straw. I built some straw for myself. I only needed a few bales for my goats because if you think about it, they don't use that much. But I decided if I'm going to buy some straw, I might as well bale some. And we ended up making 1,100 bales. So for this project, it's... It's called the Straw Project, what the FFA always called it. making a It's called the Straw Project, and for it, we need uh, a little bit less than 3,500 bales each year. The city will rent the straw, and then we get to keep the straw. They waste about 400 bales that break when the carts hit them, so then we'll be able to sell the straw later if we want to. But we got the trailers, and they're actually... That house with the light, you go that way just a little ways, and they're right around the corner. But there's two of them there. We got two more at my cousin's, and the school will allow us to use the three good ones they have left. So, but I needed a truck that I could move them trailers around with. Um... For when I'm bailing in June, July, whenever the straw is ready. And then I need them 
in October to move the trailers throughout town to unload the straw. So that's why I bought this truck. It's not top of the line greatness. I mean, it's a $1,500 truck. Um, it needs some tires. It needs a little bit of work. It runs great. Um, it's got, I'm pretty sure it's got the split rims. So I'm going to look into changing the rims. And then it needs the tires. And the seat's not adjustable, which irritates me because I can barely see over the steering wheel. And I'm a tall guy. But that's what its purpose in life's going to be. It's not going to be a fun project like Betty is. There will be some videos of working on it. i got to change all the fluids in it. Uh, a little short story on it. It come from a trucking company just up the road. You'll see in the drive-along video where I left from and where I got home at. They bought it from a construction company that used it to pull a low boy. Well, the company I bought it from bought it to pull a low boy, and they never used it. They bought it about five years ago, and it's just sat in their lot. Well, in July, or not July, January, the owner of the company died, and his wife decided to sell the truck. And you don't know the company as well as I do, but they're not known for top-of-the-line equipment. There's... When people say their name, they, the equipment just comes to mind on how crappy it is. But this truck was in pretty good shape. It's got 206,000 miles, 9,000 hours on the engine, the wet line kit. Which, if I ever get a low boy, I have the upper, uh, power to use a low boy or dump trailer or whatever. My cousin, he's got a detachable neck low boy, so I could pull it and all that good stuff. But I've been looking for a semi for a while, since before I started really getting heavy into the YouTube stuff. Since probably about, well, we bought the trailers, I think, in November. I think around November. So I started looking for a truck about that time, and I started posting heavy, I think, in, well, February or somewhere in there. Started posting videos real heavy, so... I've been looking for a truck for a while, and... I told Dad my budget was about 2500 bucks, which isn't going to get you anything great. But you could buy, you used to be able to buy used semis real cheap, and then uh, people started buying the older ones and putting them back to work. So then that jumped the price up. I looked at two that didn't run. There's both internationals. A little bit older than this one. This is a 73. The ones I looked at were a 71 and a 72. But they were in a junkyard and didn't run. This one run. So I was ahead buying this one, I believe. But that's the story on the why I bought the semi and everything. Uh, Betty, I bought her kind of spur of the moment I seen the truck and I've always wanted one like that but in the back of my mind I was thinking if I couldn't find a semi in time I could always put a fifth wheel plate on her and move the semi trailers so that's a little backstory on Betty but since I put the gooseneck plate and everything in it I wouldn't be able to do that but I got a semi now so There'll be plenty of videos of baling straw this summer, and then I'll get a video of the straw project itself. I think you guys will think it's neat. Um, I did it, well, I, since I was a freshman in high school, I helped out that year, and I help out every year. And I've been graduated, see, I graduated 14 at 17, so three years. I've done it for eight years, no, seven years. And now I'm taking it over, so the FFA will still provide labor. I just had to provide the straw and the trucks. So it's it's pretty neat. We start at 5 o'clock in the morning, get the straw down by about 7. They do their go-kart race, and as soon as the race is done, about 5 o'clock in the afternoon, we pick it up. And 
everything. I got a little bit to learn because I was never there when the uh, truck driver was setting the straw out. He'd start about 2 o'clock in the morning and park the trailers in town. And then he'd drive them around the block. And um, then we'd start at the same time and then he'd run them. He'd be there till probably midnight moving trailers around to get them off the street. So I got a little bit to learn about that. I gotta figure out how to drive this truck. You'll see in the ride along video, I ain't the greatest. But I did better than I thought I would. My cousin had a dump truck with the same transmission. And I couldn't I couldn't run that truck in low range. I had to run it in high range. Because I'm only used, our dump truck's got a straight six. And Betty's got a straight five speed. So this one's got a low, high, and overdrive in it. Which is new to me. So, but anyways, before this video turns into an hour long video, um... I'd like to thank everybody for watching and uh, hope you stay tuned for more videos.